All right, y'all, back out here, live, exciting. First find of the day, check this guy out. Holy mackerel. So green and red one, look at this side. It's got green and red in here. It's got some white agate in here. This is a beautiful piece right here. Look at that red, that red moss. This is a piece of moss that makes me smile. This is a really nice piece. I love when it has the green and red. I like that moss pattern in the inside. That's gonna clean up beautifully. This next one, this is like a plume, like more like a plume moss. You can see the, it's like a plume pattern on this one. And then check the colors out. Fall's coming up, there you go. There's your, your Halloween piece. Should have saved that one for Halloween, huh? Um, but anyway, what a beautiful piece. I mean, just a really nice piece of moss. Yeah, I found it right there on the side of this road cut. Boom, there you go. Hot in the road cut. Here's another one. This is abraciated. So this one's got the red, it's got a little orange, and it's got a little yellow. So it's really cool when you can find them, you know, in that, that yellow, orange, red pattern. Um, I, this would be cool if it had a little bit more yellow and a little bit more orange, but it's still a really neat piece. And you can see it's got all that hematite going through there. All the black in there is hematite. So that'll give you that metallic shine when you shine it up. Here's a nice little moss chunk. Again, it's these little highly silicated little moss nodules you find out there. Let's see if we can get some good shot of it. There you go. So you can see how the moss is trapped inside the silica. Created its own little world inside there. Really neat piece there. This next one, here's another one. Another little moss nodule. This one's got some green in there. It's got a little orange on that side. It's pretty cool. It's got some agate, white agate in there. Again, once that's cleaned up, that's gonna be really nice. Um, and I can tell you on the back, once that backside that you saw first is cleaned up, that'll you, that'll show the pattern really well. Um, Cause I've, I've had something like this before I've cleaned up, they clean up really nice. Here's another nodule, check out this moss. There you go. Another red moss agate. It's got some brown on that side. Got a little bit of golden brown, a little yellowish on the end there. Kind of got a few different colors. That's a really nice, highly silicated nodule. You can see it's just the moss is all trapped inside the silica. Beautiful piece. That's why I like to go hunting out here. Find some nice stuff. Here's another one. So here's another multicolor moss. It's got green, red, a little orange, a little lime green. There's almost like a golden yellow on the side. There's another one. It's got multicolors. And there you go. There's some little agates on that side. Little botrytal agates right there. I mean, just a really cool piece. Look at that pattern on, on the bottom. That's pretty cool. That's a really nice piece. Again, that's why I enjoy hunting. The color and the variety out here just like amazes me every time I go. Here's another piece of moss. Check it out. Nice, nice. Tried to make more green on the ends there. I don't know why it doesn't often make a lot of green. I don't know. I have to research and see what what colors make the green. I mean, I know copper makes green. I'm, I, I assume iron can make green as well. Because most of these you find out here, they're, the, the iron is what's making most of the reds and the oranges and the yellow colors. I assume it makes the green, but I don't know. I'll have to research that. I'm not sure. So here's another one, another nice little red moss nodule, highly silicated. You can see that's a beautiful piece there. That one's just really nice. Make a nice little magnet or tumbler ring or something like that yep out of that hole there looks like a giant hole i dug there you go look at this it's another one of those again i'll call it a fall moss color see it's got the orange a little yellow in there you can really see the lines on that one side and you can see the 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 uh the white in there as well always a good indication it's going to be moss when you see that white pattern like that on top of the rock out there it's probably going to be moss in there it's going to be nice so Squirt it off a little more for you and get a little bit better look. There you go. Check it out. 
There you go. You can see a little bit more of the red pattern down there. Again, when that's cut open, that's going to be beautiful. I promise. There's a nice one. See, it's got some agate, another little moss. It's, it's got a little red, a little orange, a little yellow. Some different colors there. Again, these these nodules here are all, they got a lot of silica in them. They're, they're very silica rich, which is good for tumbling or cabbing or, you know, whatever you want to do with your rocks because uh, they're not going to fall apart. They're not going to undercut. There's a nice little moss here, nice red. Again, you can see the agate down there by my thumb, and it's got bands in it. Cool piece. Again, just find us, just hunting this road cut here. You know, I like to hunt the road cuts. I don't like to dig. I'm not a miner, <laughs> so I like to surface hunt. So I just surface hunt when I go out. Um, Imagine if you dig, you probably could find more stuff. Here's another one. Check it out. I like that pattern. That one's really interesting. It's kind of got the green and yellow on the side. And then that's the stuff on the bottom. And then that stuff clears off. It When you tumble it, 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 it really exposes a lot more of the moss and color. So it doesn't look like much on the, on the back side. But I'm telling you, when you tumble it, it comes right off. I've had purple... I guess I found out there when you tumble them, they come out even purpler when you when that when that's gone. So here's a nice solid nodule. It's mostly agate, so it's more it, it, so it's definitely like a, more like a jasper agate, but it's definitely got jasper running all through it, and it kind of on the edges it makes these cool patterns. And you can see it's all like just trapped in there. Again, once that's all cleaned up, you'll be able to see better what that side looks like. But this is like one of those weirdos. It's got, see how this almost makes like flames. It's got this pattern and the jasper is just like trapped inside the silica. I guess when it forms, it's just the way it forms. It's pretty cool. Here's a, here's a cool one. So this one's definitely, it's translucent, right? So you can see I'm trying to show you it's translucent there. Again, it's got some oranges and some reds. Not quite a moss. Um, but it has pretty nice colors. Um, I don't know if you'd consider it agate or chalcedony, but either way, it's pretty cool. All right, this next one, here's another little stripey one. I don't know if it's moss. Let's see when we flip it around. It looks more jasper, and you know, highly, silica, highly silic silicated jasper. Anyway, cool little chunk. All right, what's up next? Here's a piece of jasper. You can see it's got that volcanic ash on it. And you can see it's got the little agate in the middle there covered. This is one of those weirdos. It's just like everything kind of got all mixed up between agates and jaspers and different colors. Yep, that's not coming off. You ain't getting that off with your finger, Paul. <laughs> that's that's on there. <laughs> you have to, you might be able to hammer it off. <laughs> You're not going to soak it off either. That's pretty hard stuff. All right, this next one is another little orange one. Just kind of an orange jasper with some agate veins running through it. It's got a pretty color. You can see how pretty that is. That's a neat stone. It makes a great tumbler. Turn it into a magnet. You could cab it if you wanted to. Just really cool. I really enjoy going out and hunting and finding these. It's just, to me, it's very relaxing. It's fun. There's usually not tons of people, so it's interesting. Oh, here's one. This is cool because, ah, you know, it's not salt crystals because I soaked it in water. It didn't dissolve. So it's got these, like, crystals on here. And then the bottom, that looks like it's probably calcite on the bottom. I'm not really sure, but it's it's some kind of evapor evaporative mineral. I, I'm guessing. I'm not sure. Uh, but I think that's calcite on the bottom. It's got orange calcite crystals, little crystals on it. And then it's got the, the white, which I thought it looked like salt to me. So I was going, is this salt? You know, because it looks like an evaporative mineral. But uh, anyway, if you know, leave me a comment because I'm not really sure. I know the orange is probably calcite. So here's another one. I usually call these, they remind me of some of those dendritic agates. Um, it's got some cool colors. And then here you go. This is an actual 
agate. No fire in it, but you know, again, this is this is how you find fire agates. You know, when, when you find them, they they usually like this. So just a cool piece. So, all right, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. Thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll check y'all out on the next one, and don't forget to keep on rocking. And I hope you enjoyed the new format uh, that I changed up a little bit.